Here is a nice little component system I have set up and it consists of two parts. The receiver is a vintage-ish uh, TEC model AGH300 AM FM stereo receiver. Um, it can handle speakers that have an impedance within 8 to 16 ohms and it is 35 watts per channel. A great little uh, compact unit here. The speakers are a pair of uh, realistic Minimus 7s uh, to a uh, bookshelf type. Um, also very um, compact little speakers. And I got each of these uh, units for free. And the receiver I got from a neighbor of mine who is using it with a pair of uh, black uh, clips bookshelf speakers, uh, black ash veneer. And there's a funny coincidence with that. My brother, in his room, has a very similar receiver to this with a CD player, also TIAC, and he is using it with the exact same speakers my neighbor was using this thing with when, he, when this thing was in use. I also have the uh, owner's manual to this receiver. It is right there, nicely displayed on my wall. And yeah, so that's basically the receiver. Um, there's the volume, nice uh, digital display uh, function. We have auxiliary, phono, tuner, CD, CD, R, I guess I mean CD, ROM, dash, MD, and uh, tape. And we have bass, con bass and trouble controls, balance, and the, the uh, FM tuning section. I believe this thing would have come with a tuner, but I don't have that tuner. Now let's go on to these speakers. The uh, realistic Minimus 7s are a very well-known uh, pair of speakers um, that are known throughout the uh, audio community. You can read more about them on Audio Karma and virtually any audio website. So let's go over what they're about. Um, first we have a 4-inch uh, long throw woofer with a very large magnet, a uh, rubber surround, and a very, very nice, sturdy dust cap. So, And then the uh, tweeter is a one-inch uh, dome tweeter. The uh, earlier versions of these speakers had the, um, the uh, plate was, was uh, metal, not plastic. And they didn't have the um, kind of chimmering. The uh, earlier ones were from the uh, mid-70s, and the, uh, this, the ones like this, with this kind of tweeter, were from the... Um, kind of early 80s, uh, 1983. Yeah, catalog number on these speakers is a uh, cat number 40-2030C, made in Japan. 8 ohms, 40 watts. Now, if you do want to acquire a pair of these, which I, highly, which I would highly recommend, one thing to look out for is these, this design was used by Radio Shack for many, many years including with the uh, realistic name on them. Some of them, like the later ones, were made in Malaysia and China, but they, they had the exact same um, style, style of woofer and tweeter. Um, and some of them had uh, reloaded base ports, which that would be easy to recognize, but again, if you're looking to acquire a pair of these in the sealed type, look, just look on the back to see if it's uh, made in Japan, or else you, you will get scammed. But yeah, these came in a walnut variety as well as a white and a uh, thing like that. But yeah, they're great little speakers and I would highly recommend picking a pair up. They sell on eBay from between 30 to $50, but I've seen people who have picked them up for as little to $1 to $5. I got these ones in particular from an e-waste center. Um, they were in the junk pile, and I scooped them up and saved them from their doom. I have the uh, covers here. The covers are in good shape. They're pretty easy to remove. The, uh, the um, emblems are in good shape as well. And yeah, and as for the uh, speaker wire, I just found it in the garbage with some cheap little speakers. It's nice wire. Better than a Radio Shack. Pretty ironic, because these are uh, Radio Shack speakers, but again, these are from a time when Radio Shack made nice stuff, not cheap audio or... yeah. Anyway, let's see how this system sounds. It's very compact and perfect for a small uh, setup in a small room. 
I'm just going to play some uh, royalty free music because I'm kind of on bad grounds with YouTube um, in terms of like copyright so I'm going to be using this kind of music for a while. These are fantastic little speakers. They sound really nice for their size. And if you have a, if you want sound where, you, if you if if you still want good sound but don't but don't have a lot of space, pick yourself up a pair of realistic minimus sevens. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe.